Well, the Carl R. Darnall Hospital at Fort Hood is beginning to transition to the Defense Health Agency, and it's expected to take complete control of operations in October. Okay, but what does this all mean for patients? Well, Channel 6's Barry Roy is now live outside the hospital for us tonight. With those details, good evening to you, Barry. Yeah, good evening to both of you. Now, the, since the hospital was opened back in 1965, it has operated under the military health system. Now, that is an enterprise of the Department of Defense and uh, that provides health care to active duty soldiers and, of course, to their families and uh, veterans as well. Now, officials telling me that the ongoing war happening overseas today uh, has seen the lowest fatality rates ever, and they attribute that to the new system that is being implemented. They say it is a great opportunity to raise their collective performance across all branches of service. We are one of the largest healthcare systems that's out there. We are certainly one of the largest federated healthcare systems. And what we learned on the battlefield is that our best, our best outcomes for our patients are when we work together. Uh, Chris and Leslie, I did just receive a statement from the hospital. We've been waiting for this statement all day long, and they do tell us in part that throughout this transformation process, we will remain committed to the highest quality of care for all of our beneficiaries. We will continue to ensure medical readiness, support wartime requirements, and enhance the quality of care for soldiers and for their families. As for the official changeover to the Department of Health Agency, Chris and Leslie, we're expected that is to take place no later than October 1st. Reporting live from Fort Hood, Barry Roy, Channel 6 News. Okay, Barry Roy, live in the field on post. Thank you so much, Barry.